Time for an instructional. We've got the specialty skating instructor for the Minnesota Wild. She is Diane Ness. We've got Thomas Vanek from the Minnesota Wild. We've got a drill today that's going to help all you young hockey players out there. Diane, take us through it. Actually, Kevin, I'm going to start with a warm-up. And this warm-up serves many purposes. It serves the purpose of stretching and strengthening anything that um, needs to be stretched out before a quick hockey game. And also, it gives you the ability to travel as far as you can with one edge, with the big, deep knee bend, and it, it's honestly the best thing for efficiency. Thomas, how much uh, do you value that first initial one of any day, whether it's summer training or else in-season training? Well, I think especially uh, the summer training is, is, is amazing with Diane. I mean, you know, after the season, you take a few months off, and it's not good for me to just go right into a scrimmage. It's nice to uh, see Diane for uh, a month here before we start uh, our own skates. And, just to kind of, like she said, warm up the, the groins and the whole body and get back into that skating mode. Well, show us this warm up drill and we can kind of right. walk our way through this. So watch Thomas here. It's a knee bend and all the preparation is done in the knee bend. It's a push and a pull. So he bends down and he pushes. And then as his knees come back together, it's a pull. This is a great groin stretch exercise. Yeah, you can see again, he's getting a wide base there every time. Yep, and that's a staple that needs to be in everyone's warm up. Now he's gonna be doing flip flops and he's gonna roll both edges. Again, practicing edges on the right part of the blade, trying to travel as far distance on one of the edges that he can possibly do. And now he's gonna try the one leg, inside edge, outside edge. Now you really have to have a knee bend. Can you see the knee bend yep. going down and up, down and up. That and takes a lot of leg strength. And there's basically no upper body movement done with this drill at all. The core is just still. And then we have one more that I did with Thomas because of rehabbing with his surgery, and that's a one-legged squat. And it's balance and down and up and balance and down and up, and balance and down and up. This gets the blood moving, this gets everybody kind of cooking, ready for scrimmage, drills, everything else. And for, you know, for Thomas, for you, uh, you're getting ready for a day, whether it's summer or even in the season. This is more than just a little warm up, right? <laughs> and he can tell you, yeah. it's, we go longer than that. That's about oh, like, this is, the tip of the iceberg, isn't this it? This is the easy part of, the, <laughs> of Diane's skate, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's. He usually goes for about an hour, an hour and 15. This is our first 15 minutes, but as you can tell, it gets your breath going pretty good. The whole <laughs> object is you want to make it look easy. You want it to be effortless. And if you're doing it effortless, then you're doing the technique correct. You have to repeat these drills over and over and over as he went through a whole month of this. And after the repetition, then you have success. You can see kids out there that even for the best players at the highest level, that muscle memory is everything. Those edges are everything to make you a better hockey player. Today, Thomas Vanek, with help from Diane Ness, went through some certain warm-up drills to make you a better skater when you hit the ice this year.